Hello friends, it's me, Shin, and today I'm coming to you from the Circle Las Vegas here in downtown where I'm going to Victory Burger. Super happy to have you along, let's head inside. All right, everyone, here we are seated at Victory Burger. Now with the Super Bowl in town, I thought it was very appropriate to have my final video before the big game happened here at the Circa, one of the best sports books in Las Vegas. And right next to that enormous sports book is the Victory Burger. You can actually see the screens from the restaurant. I've recently checked out a sports bar on the Strip as well as something a little more off Strip for locals. And I'm concluding my tour of some viewing spots here in Las Vegas by coming here to Fremont Street in downtown at the beautiful Circa. This is a really cool spot to catch a game as well as get some food. Let me go and show you the menu. Alrighty, here is your menu at Victory Burger. Let's take a closer look. Here are your appetizers. You've got nachos, chicken tenders, fried green beans and the like. Here are your salads. You've got uh, Caesar, uh, hand-picked greens. Yeah, that looks really good. And you have some wings here as well. Looks like Victory Shakes are their sweet options down here. I'm definitely gonna go in on one of those today. And then here are your list of burgers. Looks like you can also substitute grilled chicken breast as well as turkey patties. I'll definitely be going in on some of that. Here are some burgers up top. Victory burger, a barbecue burger, a local burger. Yeah, that looks good. And then some additional burgers down here as well. A fondue burger, hangover burger. And then here are your sides. Yeah, all looks really good. And there you have it, the menu at Victory Burger, and I think it actually looks pretty good, and I'm excited to check it out because you know how it goes in my videos. Every restaurant is a buffet if you're willing to pay, so I'm going to get a nice variety, and together we'll see what this restaurant's all about. Appetizers are coming up first. I'll see you in a little bit when they arrive. Welcome back, everyone. Now my appetizers are here, and this is looking good. Let me give you a view. I got the fried green beans as well as the buffalo spring rolls, a side of their onion rings, and a pound of their chicken wings. This is all looking really good. Time to give it a try. I think I'm going to start things off with these fried green beans. Really nice crispy feeling on the outside of this. And it is served alongside some kind of creamy sauce. I'm going to try it straight up first. You know what, that's pretty good. A super crispy exterior. I love the texture of these. A really satisfying crunch. These are so snackable. The green beans in the center are very soft. Maybe a tad too soft for my liking. I think I would like a little bit of firmness there. I can't necessarily say you taste too much of that green bean. Maybe as an aftertaste, you get a little bit of that trademark bitterness. The coating is certainly well seasoned. Nice levels of salt and pepper there. This is not a bland appetizer by any means. So far so good. I actually kind of like these. Next up, we're gonna dip it into the accompanying sauce. Some kind of very orange looking sauce here. Hopefully this is good, let's give it a try. And you know what, that's pretty good. This is a nice creamy spicy mayo, and it is pretty enjoyable. A very light heat here, a little bit of cayenne to that spicy mayo. I'd say it comes in little spicy waves. The sauce is certainly creamy and provides a nice richness to the bite. It does provide a nice little additional dimension to the somewhat straightforward fried green beans here. Honestly, not bad at all. I quite like these. Alrighty, next up we're going to try the buffalo chicken spring rolls. Nice crispy exterior to this, and it looks absolutely packed with chicken. Hopefully this is good. Let's give it a taste. Yeah, you know what? That's pretty tasty. A really nice crunch to that skin. It's super thin, but holding together the chicken very well. While the texture is nice, I will say it's a tad greasy. Definitely going to need some extra napkins for my hands after this one. The chicken inside is actually quite nice. A tender shredded chicken here with a lot of good spicy flavors from that buffalo sauce, as well as a good tang level as well. As a shredded buffalo chicken, I actually don't have any complaints. It's very good. I think where I kind of take a little bit of issue with this particular appetizer is that it is fairly one note. You're not getting a ton of flavor from that skin, so it's really just buffalo chicken. Maybe a little bit of green onion or something in there for some crunch and freshness, or some additional accent flavors I think could work really well here. But in general, it delivers exactly what it promises. This is a buffalo chicken spring roll. It is served alongside blue cheese or ranch. I went with ranch. Give it a little dip. Let's see how this is. Oh yeah, that's nice. 
A nice thick ranch here at Victory Burger. I always appreciate when sauces aren't watered down. A nice creamy rich tang from that ranch as well, which pairs very nicely with the flavor of buffalo chicken. It definitely does provide that little extra dimension I want in this dish. I don't think I'd be wanting these on their own. I definitely want that dip. But when it is dipped in ranch like this, it's pretty good. I don't have any serious complaints about it. Okie doke, next appetizer I'm going to try are the onion rings. A pretty standard looking onion ring here. Let's give it a shot. You know what, that's fine. Now I'm pretty sure that these are pre-packaged frozen onion rings. I don't know if they're actually hand breaded here. So that said, I want to say it's pretty standard. There is a nice fry job here, super crispy with these onion rings. And you do get a little bit of that onion flavor in the center there. Unfortunately, the breading is actually pretty bland. These onion rings are severely under seasoned. I don't know if there's a person in the States that hasn't tasted this particular onion ring before. They're a little under seasoned. I'm sure you can add your own salt, but in general, I don't know if there's anything special about these. Now the last appetizer I'm trying here from Victory Burger is a pound of their chicken wings. You have several sauces to choose from. You have classic buffalo, sweet and spicy chili, barbecue, as well as a Nashville hot. I went with the Nashville hot today. Now these certainly look like they have a decent amount of heat on them. Let's see if they're good. You know what, that's not bad. I really like the chicken meat here. Very moist and juicy. It is a great job on that cook. Speaking of the fry job, excellent crunch to the skin and batter on the exterior. It has a really great crunchy texture. Now the Nashville seasoning is okay, although I wanna say something is a little off balance for me. While there's really nice levels of cayenne and paprika giving that spice and smoke, I think they may have been a little heavy handed with the sugar today because the seasoning is leaning a little bit sweeter than I would prefer. They did use a nice level of onion powder though. There is a bit of a sharp savory note coming from it in the middle of the bite. I wouldn't say it's the worst Nashville seasoning blend I've tried, but it's certainly not the best. I'm gonna go and dip it into some ranch here, and we're gonna give this a try. You know, yeah, that's fine as well. I do like the ranch here at Victory Burger. I don't think it's homemade, but it's not watered down, which I appreciate. The cool, tangy flavors from that ranch are giving a nice little balance to the rest of the wing, counterplaying a little bit with that spice. Now, I'm a little curious for that particular bite. It was incredibly salty for me. I'm wondering if I just happened to hit a big patch of that seasoning on the chicken. You know, I might want to be a little weary of that happening again, but honestly, these are fine. All right, everyone, now that's all of the appetizer I'm gonna be trying for today. I'm gonna to go and continue working on this a little bit, and then we're gonna go in on some burgers and sandwiches next. Don't go anywhere, I'll be right back. Welcome back, everyone. Now, my first round of burgers are here, and this is looking good. Let me give you a view. I got the namesake victory burger with beef here, along with some sweet potato fries. I also got a Banks barbecue burger with a grilled chicken breast. And lastly, I got their fondue burger with an impossible patty. This looks like some pretty good range. Let's give it a try. First up, I'm trying their namesake victory burger. Looks like a really big bacon cheeseburger here. And it comes with all of your standard burger fixings. Let's give it a taste. Okay, yeah, that's a really good burger. A really nice soft potato bun here. It's fluffy to the touch, but still actually holding up to the weight of this giant burger very well. I asked for my burger cook medium today and they absolutely nailed it. Nice hot pink center here, and the burger meat here is great. It's got a great cook and it's well seasoned. You really get to appreciate the flavors of the beef, as well as get a little bit of that additional flavor from the Maillard reaction. No real issues when it comes to the vegetables here. A fresh tomato providing a little bit of sweetness. I do get a little bit of bite coming from that raw red onion. And while I do get a little bit of snap from those pickles, they don't exactly have that sharp sour tang that I'm kind of expecting. The flavors of that pickle are a little more muted. What I will say I love about this Victory Burger is the Victory Sauce. It looks very much like a spicy mayo. It provides a nice creamy richness to the overall burger. The flavor profile is really great. It's a good mix of cayenne and black pepper, bringing just a little bit of heat to the overall flavor profile. The bacon here is nice and crispy, although I will say it's a tad dry. I will say this is actually quite a good burger. I like this one. Next up, I'm trying the Bank Barbecue Burger. I've subbed chicken for this one though. You can sub your burger patty with impossible meat as well as chicken. 
And you know I'm always about showing the variety here on this channel. And typically when I just get a burger, a barbecue bacon cheeseburger is my go-to. Hopefully the sandwich version here at Victory is good. You know what, yeah, not bad. Still no real issues when it comes to that potato bun. It's a really great starting place for any of these burgers and sandwiches. All the common elements here are getting a straightforward pass. No real issues when it comes to the tomato, lettuce, and onion. I think I actually do taste the pickles a little bit more in this particular sandwich. Maybe the victory sauce was masking it a little bit more in that previous burger. The bacon here is equally crispy, although I would actually say it's not as dry as the one I had in the victory burger. And the bacon is definitely the most savory, salty element in the sandwich. The chicken here is decent. I wouldn't exactly say it's dry, but it's certainly not moist. It is well seasoned though. I wouldn't say this is bland chicken by any means. The barbecue sauce on this sandwich is a little straightforward for me. I think it's very one note when it comes to the sweetness. It could definitely use a little bit more of a smoky quality and some tang. But all in all, not bad. That's a pretty decent chicken sandwich. Alrighty, next up we're gonna try the fondue burger. I subbed out this one with the impossible patty. Obviously this isn't exactly a vegan burger, this is a fondue cheese sauce. And it's actually been a while since I've had an impossible patty, so I'm looking forward to this. Let's see how it tastes. Okay, that's actually really good. I'll go ahead and skip all of the common elements here. The bread, the veggies, they're fine. This Impossible Patty is actually quite good. They were able to develop a really nice crust on the exterior, providing a little bit of a crispness and emulating that Maillard reaction very well. The texture isn't exactly meat, just a tad more grainy than you would expect from a typical meat patty. But that said, I'm always pretty surprised about how close it is to the actual thing. That said, I will say that patty is a tad salty. I'm curious if that's from extra seasoning or if that's how the patties come. I don't really recall what an Impossible Patty tastes like on its own. The fondue sauce works so well with this Impossible Patty. That ultra velvety creamy richness coming from that cheese fondue, it really elevates the overall satisfaction when it comes to this burger. Getting a nice big bite of this burger is actually really enjoyable. It's a little sharper in flavor than its color would indicate, which is working so well with this Impossible Patty. The red peppers in this fondue are adding a really nice accent of flavor. A beautiful caramelized natural sweetness coming from those peppers. I'm actually really glad I tried it in this particular combination. This is a good sandwich. And the last bite I'm trying from this particular round of food are gonna be the sweet potato fries. You basically have an option between sweet potato fries, waffle fries, and onion rings here. I already tried the onion rings in the appetizer round, and I really do enjoy my sweet potato fries. Hopefully the ones here at the circle are good. Oh yeah, that's really tasty. A really nice fry job to these. A really fantastic crunch to these fries. You really get the flavor of the sweet potato here. They haven't transformed it all that much. Now maybe it's because I have sweet potato a lot less than I have normal potatoes, but I am enjoying myself with these. That natural sweetness along with the crispy snackable texture, these are really good. Similar to the onion rings, I do think they could use a tad more seasoning. But while I say that, I feel like I've already snacked on a ton of these just talking about it. I like them. All right, everyone, now that does it for this round of burgers. I'm gonna take a couple more bites and then get the rest to go because I'm gonna go in on another round of food. Don't go anywhere, I'll be right back. Welcome back, my friends. Now our last round of food is here and this is looking good. Let me give you a view. Now I got their Victory Loco Burger as well as the Vegas Martini Burger. And then I got a side of their waffle fries made Victory style which is a custom way you can dress any of their sides. This is all looking pretty interesting. Let's go in. Okie doke, first up, we're going in on the Vegas Martini Burger. Certainly sounded really interesting. Let's give it a taste. You know, I think I have some mixed feelings with this particular burger. Again, let's skip all the elements I've already talked about. Good bun, good veggies here. The burger meat here is continuously great. My hat's off to whoever's cooking the burgers back there because they hit that medium again perfectly. Big half pound patty, absolutely nailed the cook. A nice hot pink center, perfect medium here. I keep debating in my mind whether or not I like this sauce. It's their custom martini sauce. It's something like a cream cheese mayo mixed with green olives. And I certainly understand the martini reference. 
However, it's so salty and so briny and so rich that it really does take over the entire bite. You get to kind of taste the classic cheeseburger flavors at the very end, but the majority of the chew is just that sauce. While I enjoy briny olives, the salty flavor doesn't really relent for the majority that you're tasting it. And while I enjoy a good martini, I do think that this particular flavor is just a bit overwhelming for too long of this bite. I'm not exactly sure how I would balance this myself, you know, but the more and more I think about it, I think this particular sauce is just a little too overpowering for my liking. All right, my friends, now the last burger I'm trying here from Victory Burger today is the Loco Burger. Let's see how it is. Okay, yeah, that burger is really good. Now, whoever came up with the baseline products here at Victory Burger should be commended. Their straightforward cheeseburger is really solid. Good bun, good meat, good veggies, well-seasoned, well-executed. The baseline product here at Victory Burger is really good. I love the Southwestern flavors in this particular burger a lot. I think this has been my favorite use of their cheese fondue. Oh, you know, but I will have to think about that because the fondue burger with those red peppers were really good. However, where the sweetness of those red peppers really work with that impossible patty, the roasted peppers and jalapenos here are really setting it off. A very enjoyable heat level here combined with that rich fondue is creating a very nice balance. You get a bit of an additional creamy richness from the avocados, and then toward the end you get a little bit of smoky sweetness coming from the roasted corn. This particular burger has a really great depth of flavor and a lot of layers. I'm a fan of this one. Alrighty, and the last bite that I'm trying of the food today is gonna be their waffle fries. Now these are the waffle fries served victory style. Means it has their queso blanco and some victory sauce, bacon and caramelized onions on top. I'm definitely pretty full now, so I'm glad this is the last bite. Let's give it a shot. Mm. Okay, yeah, that's pretty good. A good solid french fry here. It has a nice crisp to it, pillowy center, although I don't think these were hand cut. Pretty sure these arrived frozen. However, they have been seasoned very well on their own. A nice little smoky seasoning blend on them to start. The chopped up bacon here is providing a lot of salty savoriness as well as an even crunchier texture in comparison to those fries. I do like the cheese fondue sauce here at Victory Burger. A very nice rich creaminess coming from that cheese fondue. I will say I really do like the Victory sauce. So much more peppery than your standard spicy mayo. It adds a very enjoyable layer to these fries. I can't say I taste too much of the caramelized onions and that's actually a pretty big detractor for me because so many of the flavors here are savory and spicy. A little more sweetness coming from those caramelized onions will provide a lot more balance here. These are also pretty heavy. I would share it with a friend if you get them. All right, everyone. Now that's all of the food that I'm gonna be trying today. I'm stuffed, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and get some boxes and pack this all up to go. And then we'll do a little bit of dessert. Don't go anywhere, because sweets are coming up. Welcome back everyone. Now my dessert just got here and this is looking good. Let me give you a view. They have an assortment of mix and shakes here at the Victory Burger. And one of my favorite cereals is Cinnamon Toast Crunch. And so I went with a Cinnamon Toast Crunch version. Got a nice spoonful here. Let's give it a try. Yeah, that's nice. First and foremost, the Cinnamon Toast Crunch is not stale, which already makes it a winner in my book. Anytime I've had a Cinnamon Toast Crunch anything and it's stale, it just makes for a terrible experience. So far so good here at the Victory Burger. That cinnamon sugar flavor is actually very well infused into the shake. It's a very sweet flavor, but you also get that woodsy note from the cinnamon. This shake is very creamy. Maybe a little too creamy for my particular taste. Now while I don't necessarily need my shakes to be concrete thick, I do prefer them on the thicker side, and I think in this particular case, I would appreciate a little bit more of a thick texture and consistency. I wouldn't exactly call it soupy, but it's just a lot thinner than I particularly enjoy for a shake. That said, the caramel and whipped cream are certainly doing their jobs, providing a little bit of that nutty sweetness, as well as that airy texture, respectively. Not a bad way to end the meal at all. This is pretty good. All right, my friends, now that does it for my dinner here at the Victory Burger. Now all of the dishes I tried came out to roughly $175 today before tip. And yeah, I definitely enjoyed myself. I thought all of the appetizers I tried today were fine, although the onion rings could use a little bit of additional seasoning. Hands down, my favorite burger today was the Loco Burger. 
It was multi-layered, had a nice complexity, and the flavors were very balanced. To be completely frank with you, I actually really like the base product here at Victory Burger. I think just a classic cheeseburger here would taste really great. And while not absolute perfection, I certainly enjoyed my Cinnamon Toast Crunch Shake, rounding out the meal. It's fun here, I had a good time. When you're eating next to one of the biggest screens to watch sports here in Las Vegas, this makes for a great place to watch the games and grab a bite. Now thank you all so much for watching. If you're watching the big game, I hope you stay safe and have a great time. I'm certainly looking forward to a good Super Bowl weekend. I'll be returning this Tuesday when I check out another local spot for a vlog, and I hope you'll join me then. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great weekend, and I hope you enjoy Vegas with me. Shin. Bye.